Every time I talk to someone from another country and say that I live in Japan and go to a Japanese school, they always start going on about how cool it is and how kawaii and that they wish they were going to a Japanese school as well. And they always start talking about the most niche topics that even the Japanese people that I know don't know about. Although one thing is true though, the Japanese age of consent is 13 years old. No one has any game, that's why they don't change the laws. But still. Back when I went to Russian school, everyone kept asking me, does Japan still have samurais? And do I eat sushi for breakfast, lunch and dinner? And do Japanese girls sound like squeaking f duck toys? No, but the last one is true though. That is a fact. Yeah, I know, it's f***ing weird. Okay, so I came to Japan at the end of 6th grade, which is still elementary school in Japan. And then I moved on to uh, the 1st grade and now I'm in 3rd grade of middle school. Okay, so it's 6 a.m. and I came to school. Say hi, friend. This is my Russian friend. She's losing her mind. This is my school. This is like middle school. This is elementary school, so it's like two schools combined. So let me give you a little rating of how my time has been so far here. In sixth grade, I was known as the invincible to call the Russian guy. The start of middle school was about the same, but now I was known as the guy who doesn't follow any rules and just doesn't give a f what everyone else was thinking about him. <laughs> Second grade was donkey cock because I decided to not study at all, had no friends and was completely depressed. Okay, but Japanese schools aren't fully that bad. They've got some good things about them. First of all, they've got good lunches. Second of all, the schools are actually clean and it doesn't smell like shit all the f***ing time in the toilets. Two, they've got yearly school trips. And three, uh, they've got pretty decent clubs. I, I don't mean the cool ones where you can buy alcohol and shit. Japanese schools have so many goddamn rules. Like back in elementary school, I went to a Lawson, which is a convenience store in Japan, to buy a Coke and a Snickers bar, okay? Yeah, and the students kept on snitching on me every single time to the teachers. So the teachers came up with the most brain dead excuse slash explanation why I cannot go to a convenience store. Even though the school has already ended, the school has ended. Why do you care how I spend my time? Like, kids were dickheads, they were straight up racist into my face because I'm white. Some guy said that I'm the color of cum, so I, so I stroked back at him and said that he was the color of piss. F*** him. Also, check this out, every single house in Japan has a bidet, it's honestly very cool. And yes, this is the only reason why I'm recording in my bathroom. You're also not allowed to bring snacks to school, so everyone was telling me not to bring snacks. Teachers, uh, classmates, family... I still brought snacks to school. Another thing that I despise about schools in Japan is the test that they give you. So if you don't study your ass off every day for 10 hours, you're basically kaput and you're not gonna get into any high school because the Japanese school system is different. So elementary school and middle school, government pays for it. But high school, you've gotta get into it like college, which just doesn't make sense. Who invented this system? And the quote-unquote smart kids are probably the most boring people on the planet with no personality who blindly follow teachers rules and you can't even have a proper conversation with them. I do not know what these hand gestures are. Come on. And they even force you to clean the school every day for like 20 minutes and you're not even allowed to speak to other people. Like what is that rule supposed to prevent? Talking? Yeah! What? And all the rules in general are just so outdated and seem like the stuff that would be endorsed in the 1800s. Like, it's just so pointless. I, I really do not understand why they do it. Like, I'm not gonna really get into it, but for example, girls have to wear their hair in a specific ponytail. Like, not here, but like somewhere over here. Because guys sexualize the neck. Like, at least at, at this point, I'm offended for the dudes. Like, what are they trying to say? <laughs> Japanese uniforms are just so unpractical altogether. Like, in winter, you're gonna freeze your balls off. But in summer, you're gonna sweat your balls off. Like, altogether, they do not protect you from the weather. Go, 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 go. 
Andrew Tate water do be hitting differently. Also, Japanese schools have two types of uniforms, okay? So there's Gakuran, which is the shit that you see in animes, you f***ing weebs. And the second is uh, the one that I'm gonna show, which is like a normal suit with pants. Uh, but both of them are flawed. The first one, uh, as I said, has nothing to prevent you from the weather. And the first one, in summer, you, it's like an oven. Like the thing that chokes you to death, like in, in the Gakurans for the guys, is is like there for no reason. Like you would think Japanese people would progress in the last a hundred years or so, right? And would make their students' lives a little bit easier, let's say, right? But Japanese still have to wear the most stupid stuff. Like for example, my brother, right? And every single elementary school student has to wear this brick of a freaking suitcase or whatever. Those are heavy like for real like why another thing that i really despise about japanese schools is the fact that you have to call the upper class student senpai and unlike other people think senpai isn't actually a weird term the word literally means upperclassman and you have to treat said upperclassman aka senpai with utmost respect lick their asses really be good to them for no reason okay yeah and if you don't do that you're labeled as the unrespecting blah 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 bitch ass mother japan overall has this massive hierarchy system like no matter how hard you work the person who has been doing the job for longer than you will always get more respect and i personally disagree with this and unlike most guys think japanese girls aren't your perfect waifus I don't know why I have to say this but a lot of people believe that Japanese girls are like from anime most of them keyword most are very quite boring and even when you tell them a joke you really gotta be careful with how you use your words it's really like Twitter because if you say something remotely offensive you're gonna be immediately labeled as hentai or weird or they're gonna call the police on you and they also talk about the most generic topics like grades school k-pop offended some k-pop fans right there didn't i and they also simp for those overly symmetrical baby ass looking dudes who have the testosterone of a gun hating obese non-binary male female rights activist and finally the thing that i hate the most is vacations and it's not just summer vacation or winter vacation it's all of them for example this year my summer vacation was only about three and a half weeks how shit is that? And they also give you a thick, juicy looking packet of homework that you have to complete. And if you don't study like every day for a few hours, uh, you won't be able to complete it. That, that's not vacation, Japan. This is the first time I've ever made a video about this topic in this style. So I hope it does well. And if you want uh, me to talk about something similar to this topic, or something like that. I would be very glad if you would leave a comment. Have a great day and boy.